to make a slip stitch on the next one also like this and a last one in the chain two so, yeah. so. and I'm just gonna pull the thread This is how it looks with this yarn. It's going to look a little bulgy because it's, it's much thicker and I thought it would be easier to show it like this. Uh, the poncho I made with um, a cotton, cotton yarn and I used, uh, I think it was two and a half or three millimeters crochet hook to make it with. What we're going to do now is we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to make a single crochet in the next chain two space. There you go. And we're going to chain another five. Two, three, four, five. And again, we're going to make a single crochet in the next chain two space. And we're going to continue like this all the way around. That's five in between five chains. And single crochet again. Two, three, four, five. And between single crochet again. And one, two, three, sorry, see three, four, five. I'm sorry, I can see, I don't, the the pattern is not always on front of the view, so I'm, I apologize in hand. I really, it's the first time and I really suck at this. Three, four, five, single crochet, the last one, two, three, four, five. Five, there you go and again we are going to uh, make a slip stitch on the first right there in between the first chains right there right, that one and we're going to make another slip stitch right there just drag it between there you go now we are going to well this is how it looks like when you're done, done with the second row now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. This counts as one double crochet. Now we're going to make uh, two more double crochets in the same same space. Two. That's three. And we're going to chain two. One, two. This is actually the corners we're making right now. And again, going down, and I'm going to make another set of uh, three double crochets. One, two, three. There you go. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to single crochet in the next ring. Like this, I'm going to chain three again one, two, three, and I'm going into the next ring and making another set of three double crochets one, two, three, and again chain two, one, two. And again, three double crochets, same place. One, two, three. So that's the two outer corners. Can you see? Yep. And we're going to continue from here. And guess what? Three chains. One, two, three. Single crochet in the next ring. Three double crochets. Sorry, 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 sorry chain three one two three and the 
30 double crochets in the next two, three, and chain two again. This is the third corner we're about to make, or about to finish. One, two, three, double crochet. So I'm just going to show you, see? gonna make it to focus right there. This is how it looks so far. We're gonna continue again. And we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And go down into the next ring. Single crochet. So again. And chain three. One, two, three. And the last corner, we're going to make three double crochets again. One, two, three, and chain two. One, two, one, two, three. That was the last three uh, double crochets of that corner. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet in the last ring. Chain three again. One, two, three. And we are going to uh, go down right there. And I'm going to make a, a slip stitch. And I'm going to pull through. And just another Yep, I'm not gonna cut it off because I'm going to show you how to. Oh, sorry, just made a mistake there. Uh, what you can do if you don't want to cut off like I didn't, I'm just gonna show you. Don't do anything, don't do anything. So, you're gonna do this. I just made a slip stitch going into the next top. I'm gonna do a slip stitch. It's much, much easier if you start from a corner. Uh, well, that's how I feel anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna go down here and just make another slip 